guys, it's Maya and welcome come back to a brand new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a how to revise for physics. So I have been doing the series the past two weeks where I did chemistry and math and further math. So you guys really enjoyed it. So I'm going to continue with the series. And if you want to see more of these videos on how I show you how to study for these subjects in anything, GCSEs, A-levels, it's pretty much the same. Well, not the same, but like... The study techniques are pretty much the same, so if you want to improve your study techniques or just want to learn some new ones, you should definitely stay tuned and watch this video and watch all of the others, and there are more to come in the future. So you should definitely subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up and turn those notifications on because I know I post every Saturday, but sometimes I can't post on Sunday because I forget and because of school and everything, but yeah, I'm going to stop blabbing and without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so for me, physics is quite a tricky subject, like, I'm pretty okay at it, but I don't love it as a subject itself, it's a, I understand a lot of people like it, but personally for me, I find it not the easiest thing and not the most enjoyable topics, I'm not trying to offend anyone, but that's just my personal opinion, each person can have their own opinion, so I do struggle sometimes studying for physics, but in the end, if you just study, you can still manage a good mark, as I've figured out from personal experience. So what I like to do is I like to write little flashcards where I write all of the formulas and all of those definitions and unit conversions and all the sort of things that you need to know for physics. So, I don't know, like latent heat, you write the formula, then the units and all of that, you just write it, each one on a flashcard and then I like to memorize those and once I know like the basis, I like to go over exercises and past papers. To me, for any subject, past papers are the best thing there is. Past papers are like lifesavers because basically every exam is different but at the same time they all have this sort of pattern. They won't change it completely. There's always these questions which are asked again so if you do enough past papers you'll know the kind of like pattern and what you need to know exactly on what the examiner or teacher is looking for. So if you do that, then you're going to be great. So I like to do past papers, I do my flashcards, and finally I always just review exercise we did in class. And when I'm in class, I like to pay attention because teachers might just be a, oh yeah, this is a question that might appear in the test. Oh yeah, this experiment will probably appear in the test. So I like to always pay attention to what a teacher's saying, write it down, and just revise all of that. So that is basically me talking and now I'm going to do a short study with me for physics because I have a physics test on thermal physics which is great. Not that fun but it's just a small test to revise and I need to study for that. So let's get into the study with me.
So I really hope you enjoyed this short video on how to revise for physics at GCSEs or at high school or at A levels, whatever you were doing. It's basically the same. Well, it's not the same, but like revising it doesn't change. So yeah, if you want to watch more of these videos and improve your study techniques or just like broaden your knowledge on how to study, you should definitely subscribe down below and stay tuned for more videos. So click that notification bell. And give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!